Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let's start with the concept of cost price of an object. Cost price is basically the price at which an article is purchased or it is manufactured. We denote cost price by CP. The other important quantity that we need to understand is the selling price of a object. Selling price of an object shall be denoted by SP. Now we need to understand the profit of the object. By definition, profit is de defined as Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. We need to understand more about profit. We will gain a profit only if selling price is greater than the cost price of an object. Let us try and understand. Let's buy a pencil at the cost price of rupees 100. Say the cost price of the pencil is rupees 100 and we sell the same pencil at the rate of rupees 125. Here notice that the selling price is 125 rupees which is greater than 100 rupees which was the cost price and it is obvious that we have gained a profit and now we need to calculate the profit to calculate the profit we will subtract profit is equal to 125 minus 100 which will be equal to 25 rupees so it is important to notice that we will have a profit only if sale price is greater than cost price. Implies sale price should be greater than cost price to gain some profit. We shall now understand the concept of profit percentage. We just now discussed how to calculate the profit and what is the condition necessary to calculate the profit. We have discussed that to have a profit, sale price should be greater than cost price. Now sometimes we require the profit in terms of percentage. To calculate profit in terms of percentage, the formula will be Profit percent is equal to profit divided by CP multiplied by 100. Let us consider our same example in which we calculated profit and try and calculate profit percentage. We had calculated profit to be Selling price minus cost price is equal to 25 rupees in our example. Now if we want to calculate profit percentage, we substitute the values in our formula. The profit we have gained is 25 rupees. Our cost price was 100 rupees for the pencil and multiply by 100 is in the formula to calculate percentage. When we calculate the percentage, it comes out to be 25%. That means in terms of percentage, we have made a profit of 25%. Now it's time to understand the loss. There is always a scope of loss if there is a scope of profit. 
if our cost price is greater than selling price then it is very clear that we would make a loss and then the formula for the loss to be calculated would be equal to cp minus sp let us try and understand with an example let's consider the same pencil example now in this case let's say that we had purchased the pencil at the cost of cost price of 100 rupees but we sold it at a selling price at of 75 rupees it's very clear that we had made a loss and now we want to calculate how much loss we had made we would substitute the values in our loss formula that would be 100 minus 75 that would be 25 rupees and here we have clearly made a loss of 25 rupees let's try and understand loss percent the formula for the loss percent to be calculated is loss that we had made in rupees upon cp multiplied by 100 consider our example of the pencil in which we had made a loss of 25 rupees if we substitute the values the loss was 25 rupees our cost price was 100 rupees into 100 we solve this and find out that we had made a loss of 25%. It's worth noting that profit percent is equal to profit by CP into 100, but sometimes we would be given profit percentage and it would be required by us to calculate profit. In that case, we can cross multiply and find out profit. to be profit percentage multiplied by cp whole divide by 100 note that this formula is been derived from the previous formula of profit percentage by cross multiplication similarly we have loss percent is equal to loss in rupees by cp into 100 and if we have loss loss percentage but we need to calculate loss then we would cross multiply and get loss percentage multiply by cp whole divide by 100 is equal to loss